hello, I invite you to my second movie about the best hydraulic brakes for about 100 euros. Times have changed, crises have passed, so the prices of parts are also different now. In 2023, the euro for 100 euro were a bargain. But at the beginning of 2024, at this price, you can find a one level higher SLX. But is it worth to pay extra? Or is it better to take the proven Dior, which can be now purchased for less than 90 euros? If you find this movie useful, I will be grateful for leaving a like and subscription, it helps a lot in developing the channel. SLX and Dior look almost identical, but there are a few differences between them. The most visible one is color, which unfortunately is a minus for me. Who invented this blue one? I don't know, but it looks the worst on the cranks. Levers looks almost identical, but they are not. They share the same servo wave and one-way blitz system, but the SLX also has a blinded three-stroke adjustment. Of course, you can bolt in a normal screw there and it will work just like in XTs, but as most of you probably know, it doesn't change much. SLX also have a knob for adjusting the lever distance that can be operated without tools, and this is really useful. In Dior, you need an Allen key for this. Their handlebar clamps are in new iSpec EV standard and BH90 hoses are also identical, but Dior do not have a banjo on the end. Both brakes can be used with organic and metallic pads, with or without cooling fans. As for the calipers, the one in SLX has different build and bleeding port at the bottom. But the most important difference is that SLX have ceramic pistons, as in the more expensive XT and XTR. Thanks to them, it is more difficult to boil the system, because ceramic do not transfer heat, just like the steel pistons in Dior, which can also rust. But ceramic is not perfect either, and sometimes can crack. Although, I've never had such a problem, and I had all generations of XT and SLX from last 15 years. The downside of Dior, which irritates me the most, and I think that it should not have a place in this price range, is that they have this cutter pin like the cheapest Alivio for 40 euros. In SLX it is done in a civilized way, and pads are held by bolt with a clip. I think these are the all differences, and if I forgot something, let me know in the comments. SLX Group Set has been the perfect choice for years and has the best value for price ratio. So if you ride harder or extra 40 euro is not a problem for you, get SLX. However, if you have a limited budget, you are light and ride recreationally, Dior will work just as good. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions or anything to add, feel free to leave a comment. See ya!